Malim addressed a crowd of about 300 people who had gathered outside his home. He was surrounded by some members of the ANC's Youth League National Executive Committee. Some of his supporters drove from as far as Gauteng province. Some members of the ANC Provincial Executive Committee also visited him. He told his supporters that the worst is still to come. And uh, we must accept that that is the decision, but that is not the end of the road. Mm. And uh, it is still early to celebrate sure, mm. sure. because the road ahead of us is going to be very long. Mm. And uh, it needs men and women who are determined mm. and who are very strong because if you are weak, you are going to fall in the process. Yeah. The visible Sheken Malima says he is being prosecuted for speaking on behalf of the ANC Youth League. I'm not a soldier who's prepared to fall in the battle. Never. Uh -huh. I will die with my boots on. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't matter who says what. I will die for what I believe in. Yeah. Yeah. I've not done anything wrong. Never. I did not steal from anybody. No. Yeah. I did not kill anybody. I spoke on behalf of the ANC Youth League. Yes. And I'm persecuted for speaking on behalf of the ANC Youth League. Yeah. Shortly after his address, he burst into ANC struggle songs. Malima's supporters who were gathered there were not happy about his expulsion. No, no, we are not happy about the decision. Uh, maybe he can appeal, maybe Akatsama are right, but definitely we are not happy about the decision. We don't like it because of, they must look for 2014, we are going to vote. Immediately they are questioning that kind of a thing because of I'm a child. If I'm a child, I've made wrong, if I've wronged you before. You have to, to tell me, or my son, I don't like this, I like this. And if they're taking such kind of decisions, that means if a child he have, he have wrong you inside. Meanwhile, Julius Malema's opponents, who had gathered about 800 meters from his home in Sushihu, celebrated his expulsion from the ANC. They displayed a makeshift tombstone symbolizing the final death of Malema's political career. They carried and paraded it written messages such as rest in peace, Corrupted and dictator. The coffin is just a symbol of uh, the death of Comrade Julius Malema in politics. In fact, we don't refer him as a comrade anymore. We refer him as the deceased dictator. Because the people of, of, of the, the country have been denied opportunities uh, under the leadership of Comrade Julius Malema, the former Comrade Julius Malema. Shortly after Malima's address, a group of Malima's opponents decided to drive through Malima's home. Fighting then broke out between the two groups. Stones were thrown and the gunshots fired. Police were then immediately deployed in large numbers around Zone 1 in Sishiho. By 1 o'clock this morning, the situation was still tense, with senior police officers intervening, trying to dissolve the stalemate between the two groups. It's not yet clear as to how many people were injured. Rosanchibase. SBC Radio News, Sisi Ho.